Hi guys, it's Down Under Monkey. Yes, I'm still breathing. Um, just <laughs> had a bit of a spell, that's all. Um, so what I'm going to do today is run over a couple of things. Um, and I've got a package here from the Butcher Flock. Uh, I'm going to open that one as well. I want to race through as much stuff as I can. Um, we'll start with uh, being away for a couple of months. I've been just busy doing some stuff that, that needs to be taken care of. Um, family time's been pretty important. Uh, my son, I'm not sure if anyone remembers, was training for the army. He is now a qualified soldier, which is great. Uh, I did end up picking the 80 locks in 80 days that, um, that I was doing. I ended up picking about 140 locks, but I only really registered 80 on the list. Uh, there was a lot of practice involved. So uh, I will put a list in the description of the 80 locks that I picked. And um, I didn't pick any black belt locks like I was hoping, but I did improve my skills as a picker uh, immensely, which was, it was good. It was fun to do and um, a labor of love. Uh, so I've actually, since then, I've picked a couple of the locks on my list that I wanted to get. Uh, my Lockwood Twin, and I've picked a couple of buy locks as well. So getting there slowly but surely. Uh, second thing I want to address very quickly is um, Charles Builds Crab. Um, well, Charles from the Lock Sports Cast, if you're unfamiliar. It's a, a brilliant podcast, keeps us up to date with all the things lock sport related um charles sent through uh this which is a locky award which i won um well it was a tie between myself and rune picker for best challenge lock um congratulations rune picker um yeah these things are really cool it's a mini pinning tray and it's got the dude on top uh just want to say thanks to charles for sending that and for all the organization you did um behind the scenes uh, and anyone else involved too, plus all the participants, winners or losers, it doesn't matter. We're, we're all winners in this community, so that's that. Um, that's sort of about it. Um, let's hook into this package, because everyone loves packages. So Pocket Woman sent me an email a little while ago about some challenge locks that are touring around Australia at the moment. And she mentioned that... Um, Butcher's Block had them and they were looking for a, a place to go next so uh, I said yeah sure I'd love to have a crack at it um, I believe they're from uh, let, let's cut this open anyway oh by the way if you want to do some damage get yourself one of these blades they will ruin your life really quickly so sharp but anyway um, there seems to be a hell of a lot more in here than than what it feels like there should be. So I'm just going to pull some of this off camera. Make sure there's no addresses. Um, no secret stuff that isn't supposed to be shown. Okay, so we have a white envelope. A aluminium tube. We'll get to that in a minute. A baggie. And we have this, Three Monkeys Challenge Locks. So, yes, this is it, the Three Monkeys Challenge Locks. They come from Lock Picker 69, uh, Harry Bow, and Nose Picker. Um, so the, the instructions that I have behind these are, you can only have them for two weeks, um, successful or unsuccessful, you need to pass them on. Um, after two weeks, uh, you're not to gut them because, you know, they're making the rounds and if you accidentally lose something or damage something, it's, it's you know, it's difficult to replace parts when they're, when they're on the run. So, let me pull some of these out. So, I will pick these, um, on camera, uh, whether I fail or I succeed, I will try to pick them on camera. Okay, so there's some lock picker 69. They must be stickers, maybe take one and pass the rest kind of deal. 
uh, which will go good with this because at the back there. All right, so here are the three monkey challenge blocks. I've been sort of looking forward to this. Not sort of, I have. Um, I wasn't sure when they were coming, but all of a sudden I just had a surprise package on my doorstep. And, um, yeah, so I'm excited. Ooh, that is a nice lock. Okay, so this is three monkeys. Okay, so it's got their initials on there. This is number three. And you've got that keyword there. So it, the idea here is we don't know who uh, who made which lock. So you're just going to pick it, attempt to pick it, have a crack at it, and then email your guesses to, I assume, Pocket Woman over who I think the people are. What is that? I don't know if that's drill protection or interactive. Anyway, that's number two. And get rid of that, keep that for later. And number one, they all got some weird keyway. Right, they are some really nice looking locks, They've got some weight to them as well, quality stuff. And the keys are in there, I won't go too much into that right now because uh, there is still a hell of a lot more package to get through. Plus, I don't really want to show the bidding to to everybody, just in case they they want to have a crack at it too. I don't know what this is. Let's have a look. I hope everyone's been doing well. I've been watching a little bit of YouTube here and there, not commenting so much, um, but I have I have been seeing what some people are up to. Looks like everyone's having some fun. Practice lock can be gutted, include with three monkeys challenge locks. Okay, so there's the there's that keyway, and this is the challenge lock, practice lock to go with them. Cool, that's really thoughtful. So at least we can have a bit of a go. All right, moving forward, let's have a look what is in here, because I thought I was just getting challenge blocks but the package is very big uh, I do appreciate everything you've sent um, Mr. Butcher's block okay so we have here oh this is pocket woman's yeah this is pocket woman's pass around community lock no key from Mr. Paradise uh, Paradise not Paradise jeez um, yeah right Okay, I'll have a crack. It's a Master 410 Lotto. I don't know if there's been any modifications done to it, but I'll definitely have a go at that. That looks fun. Thank you very much. I can see there's going to be a lot of links in the description. Pocket Woman, um, the three gentlemen from the Monkey's Locks. Um, spring have been replaced and core and pins cleaned. From Mr. Paradise. Top blown out. Can you pick it? Okay. I uh, will have a crack. Wow, that keyway has uh, seen some better days. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Thank you, guys. They seem like a community project. Um, there's definitely something in here. <clears throat> Let's use this mongrel blade. Oh, what is that? No, mate. You shouldn't have done that. Come on, out they come. Oh, I can already see what this is, and I am absolutely gobsmacked. Wow. Look at that. That is amazing. That looks like a butcher's block custom pick. It's got this little hexagonal hole through it. Wow, that is really beautiful, mate. Thank you so much. And that profile, that looks really, really useful. It's polished. The feel on this is amazing too. I'm going to have to find out what wood that is. 
Wow, that is incredible. Did not expect that whatsoever. Looks like there's a little brass inlay along here as well, top and bottom. Dude, that is that is amazing. Thank you so much. That's beautiful. Holy crap. Wow. It even sits nice. Like ergonomically designed. Thank you so much, mate. I'm going to have to hit you back for this. Not hit you, but you know what I mean. Send you something nice. Thank you so much. This is beautiful. Wow. All right. Well, let's put that there. That's cool. Thank you so much. And then we have another package. That was within the package. <clears throat> Alright, I know this video is getting long and I do apologise, it was not my intention to make a video that went for 11 minutes, so far. Very well that, whatever this is. Okay. I'm just going to pull this off camera, it's going to be easier. You can sit down and look at that beautiful pic. Okay, <clears throat> so we have here some sort of book. Very carefully open this so I don't score the book with this horrendously sharp knife. Mm. That's interesting. What do we have here? Ah, oh, right. Keep one past the rest. Okay, so this must be a a book. Yeah, right. Okay. This has the previous people's attempts. That's really cool. Okay, mad. All right. Um, I will show more about this uh, when I do the the locks, obviously, because um that goes with that. But that's really cool. Now what else do we have here? Um, yet another package. Within a package. Avis. Ah, I know what this is. I think this... I'm sure this came from... Uh, was it Starry Lock at some point? Hmm. Let me just double check. Okay. I... Yeah, I assume that one did come from Starry Lock at some point. I did see these floating around. I'm really excited to have a crack at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven or eight pins. I can't read it properly. But anyway, yeah, this is a, an Abus, like a cable lock. 7640. Wow, that's really cool. I can't wait to pick that one too. All right. Well, that was an absolutely amazing package. Thank you so much, Butcher's Block. Uh, thank you, Pocket Woman, for letting me know that these uh, challenge locks were coming to Australia and giving me the opportunity to put my name down. Um, thank you to Lockpick69, Harry Bow, and Nose Picker. So I'll get into these and I'll send my guesses over uh, who I think made what. Um, Butcher's Block, mate. Absolutely stunning. Thank you so much for that, mate. That's that's incredible. And um, from this one, wherever that came from, thank you again. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I will be making a little bit more content here and there when I have time. Um, but, yeah, it's time is short, so we all know how it is. But um, thanks for watching. Have a great night, and I'm going to get stuck into some of this. Take care, guys. Talk soon.